Jennifer Hunter. Good morning. Yes, it's so wonderful to have you here. Would you uh, mind t uh, reminding me your complete <laughs> title here on the Adrian Dominican Sisters campus? Yes, it's a mouthful. I am the Executive Director of Campus Services. In my words, I would translate that as Campus Administrator. Would that be a short? That would another be. Another CA. We can put CA... COA. <laughs> yes, yes, that would be yes. that would be another version of yes. the of the title. And I imagine you are one of the most valuable co-workers that the general counsel has. I I am a I mean, liaison. That is, yes, that yes. Position. Right, right, right. It yes. is. The position I mean, they yes. have so many outside activities. Right, right. They are very busy. So the position um, was formed or expanded upon from the previous sisters who held the role um, to be a point person for them um, to let them know what the happenings were on campus. So, you know, um, any uh, department or campus service that's functions cross campus would kind of report up through my office and then um, I would report then to the general counsel. Yes, you are the guardian angel <laughs> behind all that happens here on right. campus. Because there are many um, departments that report to you, mm -hmm. correct? Or That's that correct. you you mentor or that you Right, or they mentor me too. So Yes. Yeah, that's yes. good. That is very true. I've <laughs> learned a lot in this role. Oh, so. good. They give you feedback. Yes. That's, that's a good sign that yes. you're a good administrator. Yes. <laughs> yes. How did the Adrian Dominicans find you to begin with? Um, well, I was working at ProMedica, the local health care um, um, Locally? Locally, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And in an operations role. And... Uh, a good friend of the congregation, um, Scott Hill, came to me and said that um, they were looking for this position and might I be interested. And to be very honest, it took took a couple weeks before I did place a phone call to inquire about mm -hmm. it. And um, now it's it will be five years this year so that I've been sister, here. So during Sister Attractus? It was, or, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you were brave because you're following Lee Cooney. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, yes. And you were following, um, oh, Karen Fisk was at one, mm -hmm. one time. And I think one of the first was uh, Sister Diane O'Dead. Okay. Would that be? That's correct. Does and she come and tell you exactly what you do? <laughs> I do hear that, yes. Joella Miller as oh, well, oh, and yes. um, Dorothy Gettler. Oh, right. So they were all, yes, oh. I've had them in my office well, many times. non-advisory board. <laughs> I do, I do. It's, it's helpful. Oh, yes. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. But it's so changed mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, who are some of the coworkers you're fortunate to work with mm -hmm. as in far as uh, heads of departments. Mm -hmm. I am very fortunate to have wonderful um, directors and managers that I work with. Um, Aaron Dress in Human Resources, um, Susan Kremsky in Food Service, uh, Norma Cantu in Environmental, um, Joel Henricks in Facilities, and Jeanette McIntosh in um, Office Support Services. And then my sidekicks, I have Candy Strine as my assistant and um, Jackie Phillips, Sister Jackie Phillips, who's been my source of history for many things. No wonder you can put your head on the pillow every it's night. It's true, it's things. true. It's Stellar very true. Group. Stellar group. How often do you meet? Um, I meet monthly. We have one-on-one -on -one, uh, meetings every month with uh, my managers and directors. And just a time, it's on our calendar as a reoccurring appointment, and we know that you know, I, my door is always open if they need to see me between those times, or I might pop down and see them. Um, but otherwise, we know we have that dedicated time every month together. Is there a time when you, if, that there's a common problem that you bring everyone together or a project mm -hmm. that you're... Working, I, I'm so amazed the way mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if you could, the response to our blackout mm -hmm. a couple w weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, talk about a well oiled 
wheel. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There, are, um, you know, unfortunately, there are things that happen that we don't plan for, mm -hmm. and you know, such as the Regina um, fire that we had recently in the blackout, um, and then there's many things that we do plan for. If you remember. Um, I believe it was two summers ago we had to a water we had to turn off the water on campus and we had to prepare for that and um, just a phenomenal group of folks that come together um, either post event or as we prepare for the event um, we can sit down and, and hash it out and talk about who's responsible for what and where's every gonna be, everybody going to be and and serve at the time that you know we need everybody and all hands on deck so um, yeah, and it's pretty pretty remarkable. It is. It is. And I suspect you're the contact for anything in Lenawee County that's going on mm -hmm. that affects our campus. Our campus, correct? Or even Siena. I would imagine from their administration. I work very closely with with Siena Heights as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what about Weber? How does that? Um, Only because of the how the directors mm -hmm. relate to that. Mm -hmm. We um, actually one of the things since I've been here that we have created and it actually well, works very well is the building administrator group. Um, we meet monthly as well. We call it our BAM meeting, B A M, and that is Janet, Sister Janet Doyle, um, Cheryl Pickney, and myself, and then Aaron Dress from the policy side, and we get together and talk about what's happening well on campus. Um, what what, what are some things maybe that we need to look at or bring to others' attention? Um, and so I do work very closely with, with Janet at, at Weber. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, what do you love most about mm -hmm. your position now? Now that you've been here, what, five years? It'll be five years yes. this year, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I love the most, because I, um, I kind of... I thrive on change. I'm one that, that appreciates change and knows that change is there for a reason, mm -hmm. um, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, I enjoy the fact that my job is no two days are the same. So, you know, one day we may be um, dealing with a water main break and mm -hmm. communicating that to campus and, and what is everybody's responsibilities and working with facilities. And the next day I may be planning a party, yes. you know, figuring out what are our costumes going to be for the Halloween party. Mm -hmm. So each day is, is different. And, and, and then jubilees and, and mm -hmm. reunions. Mm -hmm. yes. All kinds of events yes. on campus. Wait, were you involved um, at all with the, um, what's happening at, at the, uh, Literacy Center, the old old building. I shouldn't say old building. It's one of the best built. The St. Joe's I Academy. Can, yes, yes. 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 Were you involved in all of that? I was. Yeah. I was right from the beginning. Uh -huh. So, um, very. Were you here when they had the water? I drink? was. Yes. I, I it was your first year. It was my. I think it was my first year, and yes, I was here with my tall boots and wading through the water, and so um, you know. Like I said, change is, is difficult, but if you look at, you know, what happened to where it is now, what a beautiful space for the, the students at Siena Heights and um, looking forward to the future, too, as they finish off the other floors. Mm -hmm. Has anyone shared with you the history of Manhaw? Um, bits and pieces, yes. Like the, depending. The, where your office is? Bits and pieces. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? Uh, I, I I do remember at one point the um, chaplain, the priest used to have a bedroom in there. That was right. his bedroom. Right. And, and then the dining rooms across the hall. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, we called it the priest. The priest. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. Yeah, that beautiful was donated space. by some the furniture by some wow. bishop. Yes. Hmm. And then the sisters were not allowed to go in there, you know, it was just mm -hmm. for serving dignitary and priests. Hmm. But it's um, a place to have a party too, is it not? It is. Yes. It is a nice space. Yes. Is there anything that um, you've been able to bring new to your position mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that wasn't in existence before? Um, I'm not sure about being new, mm -hmm. um, but I think just expanding. Um, uh, something I think that 
we've worked really hard on in the last four years is kind of the concept of we're one campus. Um, you know, whether you work here in the Maria Healthcare side, whether you work in the Madden offices or um, the Weber Center, um, we are all here as co-workers, as partners in mission, and we're here to serve the sisters. And um, I feel like being an informed campus, keeping everybody informed, and keeping us all on the same same playing field, same yeah. same page, yeah. um, we've kind of expanded that um, over the last four years. Is your husband? I, I presume you live in Adrian. We do. And we do. I children. am, and I have two children. Oh. Yes. And their ages? Um, I have a son who um, just turned thirteen, so he is a teenager. Yeah. We have a teenager in the house, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my daughter is nine and a half. So a joy for both. A they joy. are. They are. They keep us hopping. But do they ask you what's it like working with nuns? Oh, they do. do they, they know do. the terminology. They do. <laughs> they do. And they have been to campus several times. They love coming here. I think the first time they came was at the St. Joseph Academy flood, oh, and yes. um, they came and met several sisters. And now they come and um, come stop by my office, and they go to uh, summer basketball camp across the street at Siena. And um, then they'll come over afterwards, and um, yeah, big fans of the ice cream down Madden Hall. So what do they love to hear? What or your husband? What do, what kind of mm -hmm. stories um, do they love to hear about the, the yeah. sisters? Yeah. Oh, he um, he comes with me to mass Christmas Eve, so he oh, um, so he knows he everybody. does. He yeah. gets a chance to talk with the sisters, and he's a talker himself. So I think um, a lot of times it's who's gonna who's gonna outlast the other one because he he's so interested in um, hearing the history of the sisters and their their ministries and the the wonderful stories and and travel experiences that they've had. Quite amazing. It, absolutely. Right. Are you involved with the March 11th event? that is being planned by the development office? I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Yes, I believe actually your partner back there, Ashley, and I are going to be announcing it in the Adrian room, so oh, taking turns. Yes. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. And do you have an expectation of how many people may, may come, or is it kind of like an open house? It is an open house. Um, and the purpose of it? The purpose of it is to educate the community on the sisters and give them the opportunity to sit down and talk with the sisters and find out some of those questions maybe that they have about their ministries or um, um, what they've done. Mm -hmm. And why did they wear those white dresses? Exactly. <laughs> and what they would see. Right, right. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Well, is there anything you'd like to say to a new employee who doesn't have his or her feet wet yet? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, um, I think just to let everybody know that Adrian Dominican Sisters is truly a hidden gem in our community. Um, a hidden gem? A hidden gem is what, I, is what I believe. I think that um, so many people maybe associate Siena Heights with Adrian Dominican Sisters, which is, which is fine and that's appropriate, but our campus, we're doing so many great things here. And um, I just think that once you're here, once you, you make that step to come and, and be a coworker here on the campus, you're going to find it's very hard to leave. Very so, hard. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. And thank you for continuing to be with us and bringing the joy and not to mention the efficiency. And I know you keep a couple of houses that the sisters own, or maybe more. How, right. How many? You keep the, the, those running. That's I mean, true. That's, that's that shot. is the other part of my position is the congregational owned how many, houses. How many houses? I believe there's keep? we're up to seven. Oh, so okay. all the way from um, convents to apartments uh -huh. to homes. Florida. So, mm -hmm. New Orleans. New Orleans. Seattle. Chicago. New York. Adrian. And Adrian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, God bless you. Yes, yes. You get all the bills and all the We problems. do, we do. Thank goodness for Candy. She pays those bills for, on time. That's wonderful. And do I sign up for a va va the vacation house in Florida through you? Through Jackie Phillips, through yes. Jackie Phillips. Yes, you can do that. That's great. Oh, well, blessings yes. on your day. Oh, thank, thank you, you. For, for the time you spent here today. Well, thanks for having me.